Hi friends, um, happy new year, first of all. It is January of 2017. That is absolutely insane to me. Like, I genuinely have been spending the last like few days trying to wrap my head around it. Um, but yeah, happy new year. So today I recorded a foundation and contour highlight routine for you all. And this is a look that I can wear all the time. Um, and it's something that can be built up on for sure if I want more of a dramatic like contour and highlight, but it's also something that I can sheer down if I'm on a day off and I'm just running errands. I don't really care who sees me because that happens a lot. <laughs> Um, but make sure you keep watching if you want to see how I do my foundation and my contour and all that good stuff. And also make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to comment to let me know what types of foundations that you all are really into, what brands you're really into, um, tell me any questions that you have. And also hit that bell button so you get notifications on when I subscribe to my channel. So, um, keep watching and here we go. <laughs> so I've already... Um, moisturized my skin so I'm gonna go ahead and prime it the first primer that I'm gonna be using is my I think today elf we'll use the poreless face primer and it's in like the little pink bottle I also like to use the Smashbox photo finish primer as well as the um, what's it called the Mac time check the mineralized time check lotion they all have that nice like silicone -y feel that really kind of fills in pores and fine lines. Elf just happened to be in front of me today. Let's see. I use a couple different primers though. So next I'm going to go in my Becca. Where are you? My Becca Evermatte Poreless. <clears throat> and this one I just use around my nose. Excuse my voice or if I sound like nasally or anything like that today. I'm kind of battling a little bit of a cold. I thought I was getting better and then I wasn't. <laughs> so this primer I literally just take through my T-zone because that's where I get the oiliest. Um, my skin is pretty normal, if anything just slightly dehydrated. Um, but I do tend to get oily around my nose. So I said this is going to be a little bit of a first impressions video because the other day I was at Sephora and I was getting some things, um, but I wanted, I've been wanting to try the new Urban Decay All Nighter foundation that everybody's been talking about. And I'm not a huge fan of like buying things without trying them, so I went and got a sample. Um, I got the color 12.0. There was an 11, which I probably should have gone with, but it looked a little bit lighter in the tube and 12.0 ends up being a little bit darker on my skin so i'm just putting it on the back of my hand just to keep it malleable and i'm using a pretty dense brush so so far this is <clears throat> definitely full coverage as everybody claimed um I, the amount I have on the back of my hand is like maybe like a pump or a pump and a half. I'm stippling it just so I can really lay down product and also buffing it like so just to blend it out. This is definitely a little bit red for my complexion, but I'm not mad at that. I can definitely color correct that out. What the stippling motion is going to do is really just like lay down the product, whereas a buffing motion like this buffs it in and makes it look a little bit more natural. Swiping, I'm not a huge fan of because I feel like that moves around too much product. Holy cow. This is full. One thing I will say though about the texture, it's a little bit creamy, I guess. I don't want to say thick. Because like what isn't thick these days? And thickness doesn't necessarily bother me. But it is something that you should keep in mind if you are not a huge fan of like creamy or thicker foundations. The nice thing about this being such a full coverage foundation is that I won't have to go in with as much concealer after the fact or even really at all for days that I probably just want to throw on and go. But what I will be doing is color correcting since, like I said, this is going to be a little bit more red than I am right now. I think in the summertime, this would be a, the perfect tone for me because I get more red in the summer. Cool. 
cool. So next I'm going to go in with my MAC Stu no, Pro Conceal and Correct palette in the dark shade range. Um, and this I'm going to mostly use, like I said at this point, just to color correct. So I'm going to use some of the cooler tones. Just to the center of my face because that's where I am the most gold. Same brush, just to blend it out. Had I been doing a full face routine, I would have um, primed my eyelids while I was doing all the rest of my primers. But since I'm not doing a full face routine, don't mind my eyeballs. Okay, and now for highlight, what I'm going to go in with is my Tarte Shape Tape. Huh, it says contour concealer. I did not even realize that. Um, makes sense though because this color is deep. It's not that deep, y'all. I'm going to go in, and I like to use this as more of a transitional contour, or I mean traditional highlight color. So mostly through my T-zone, that was a lot of product, and then down and around my jaw. One thing I will say about this concealer is it smells so good. Like, people have always told me like, oh, this product smells good, this product smells good, and I've never like kind of felt the same way, but this smells bomb to me. Like, this is so yummy. I'm going to blend it out with my um, Real Techniques Blender Sponge. And I'm going to start by my jaw and just kind of through like my forehead and my chin. I'm going to let my under eye product set a little bit because I like it better that way. And then before I go in and blend out my under eyes, I'm going to add a little bit of product. I'm going to use the same Studio Conceal and Correct, Pro Conceal and Correct palette from MAC, but in a different shade range this time. I'm doing medium deep. Wow. And I'm just going to add, I think this is NC, <laughs> NC42, to those areas. I want to be a little bit brighter. One thing I want to say about my skincare is that I use a lot of moisturizers and a lot of moisturizing products all throughout my routine, even though my end result ends up being very matte. Um, I like a matte finish at the end of the day, but I understand that I can't have a properly matte finish and properly perfected skin without having um, a strong base to it and for me a strong base means moisture so I moisturize a lot I use products that are moisturizing all throughout and then I'll set them with my you know uh, my translucent powders and my finishing powders and things like that but what that does for me is makes it so that all those powders I'm using at the end are not going to suck the moisture out of my skin um, they're going to if anything maybe suck a little bit of moisture out of my my product but it's not going to look bad at the end of the day okay so speaking of setting I'm gonna go ahead and set now with my translucent powder this one's from MAC but every brand has a good one I've used not every brand I guess but um I've used anything from like the NYX translucent powder to 
uh, Laura Mercier's. There's so many different um, translucent powders out there. The fun fact about those is that you can use them before, usually most of the time you can use them before your um, makeup process as a primer to mattify out your skin. I am using this to literally lock down everything because I don't want it to move. I even just locked down my eyelids because I didn't do any primer. Okay, and then to contour, I have a few contour steps. So I'm gonna start um, with my <clears throat> Anastasia Contour Kit um, in the medium to tan shade range. And mine's really dirty, but I'm gonna be using, and it's really used, I'm gonna be using this color right here, the darkest tone. And I guess this one is more, a little bit more of like a transitional contour, kind of just sweeping it on my cheekbone without a lot of like rhyme or reason. Almost as a bronzer, okay? Just to really start to build that complexion and that coloring that I'm looking for when all is said and done. I take whatever's left on the brush onto my nose. Nose contour tends to be pretty obvious if you do it during the day. So I like to just use as little product as possible. Okay, and my next step is <clears throat> actually from MAC, another MAC product. This is the All The Right Angles Contour Palette in dark. But I've seen these colors come out a couple of times. So you might still be able to find every once in a while. And then once again, whatever's left on my nose. This product is darker than the Anastasia product that I was using earlier. So I use this as the deepest part of my contour. Back by my ear just to really chisel it out. Um, this is what the product looks like. I'm using this I'm using this color right here, not so much this one. Um, it's like practically untouched. Sometimes I've also been known to go in with eyeshadows as well. Um, like Embark from MAC is a really good one, Espresso, if you want something a little bit more cool tone. And then the next and final step <laughs> to my contour, not necessarily highlight, is I take a couple of my favorite blushes from MAC, and this is going to be the last part of creating that um, complexion that I'm looking for. I'm using Film Noir and Raisin. Raisin is my favorite and, like, only blush that I wear, really. Um, you can see how, like, close to pan it is. It's at pan. It's not even close to pan. And I'm using a really fluffy brush. So these I'm going to use to kind of hit more of the tops and around, kind of like a contour as well, just to give myself even more depth. Raisin I could do on its own, but that's such more of a blush color to me because it's so warm. I like them mixed a lot. Okay, and now for setting my highlight, or like the last step of my highlight process is I use powders for that as well. Um, I just love powder so much. I like set everything with powder. Um, I personally don't love like super emollient skin, like skin that just feels like really, I like the look of really dewy skin, um, but I'd rather create that look while still feeling matte. I don't like my skin to feel like kind of sticky to the touch, which I think is why I use so many powders. So I'm gonna go back to my Anastasia contour kit and I'm using this tone right here with my um, MAC Select Sheer Powder in, whoa, one second, in NW30, Jesus. And I'm gonna go underneath my eyes. I'm not gonna use a ton of product because a little bit's gonna go such a long way and I'm pretty bright under my eyes already. Originally from that Anastasia palette, I was using those brighter two tones that are gone. But honestly, looking back on it, that was a kind of a bad idea because it just got so bright under my eyes. Looked super artificial, I'm sure. And although I do like to be really bright under my eyes, lately I don't want it to look too, too artificial because I understand that's just not cute at the end of the day. Um, and then just a little bit with a smaller brush, I'm going to go closer to my eyes. Just to really set it. And then now to finish everything off, I'm going to use a finishing powder. I use the Minimize Skin Finish in dark deepest 
I'm just gonna sweep that everywhere. And then just because I feel like that just blended it out a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit more of my raisin, hit my cheeks. And then sometimes I do this, not all the time, but I do like it in moderation. <laughs> I'm using Global Glow from MAC. Just on my finger. Oops. Just adding a little bit of a glowy portion. And then last step is going to be my Fix Plus spray. What I want to clarify, because I hear this all the time about Fix Plus, is that Fix Plus is not a setting spray. What setting sprays do is they keep your product on longer. So like for instance, like the Urban Decay, like D-Slick and the All Nighters and things like that. Um, what Fix Plus is, it's more of a finishing spray. So what finishing sprays do is they finish off the look. So they make it look more natural, they make it look more like skin. They take that matte finish that you have and they kind of glow it out a little bit. So the more finishing spray you spray, the glowier your face is going to get. So keep that in mind. You guys, that is it. That is my foundation routine, um, short and sweet. I can do this usually when I'm not talking in like 15 minutes, probably 10 if I really wanted to. Um, and like I said earlier, this is a product, or this is a look that I can definitely make more dramatic or a look that I can definitely sheer down. But for the most part, this is tried and true product for me. Sometimes I'll change up my blush, sometimes I use something more glowy. Um, sometimes I'll go a little bit brighter on my eyes from going out, but for the most part, this is it. So thank you guys for watching, and Happy New Year again. Let me know if you have any resolutions down below. I don't know how I'm doing resolutions this year. I think I just have a few goals in mind that I really just wanna try to adhere to. I might do like a vision board and things like that. Um, but don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell button to get notifications, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, friends.